Good morning, Collective. Psychic Spiritual Healing with your what do you need to face, what do you need to heal, and what do you need to release videos. These are going to be three videos probably because when I was pulling the card, Spirit kept throwing more and more. So I'm going to divide it into three videos. So the first one up is what do you need to release? Okay. And the first thing you need to release is release your past. Release yourself from your past. You're both mirroring each other. Smoky quartz, that's for grounding. Oops, do there. Uh, past life traumas. Meditate. Ask spirit to show you the past life areas that you need to heal and release, or do a past life regression service with uh, someone in your area or via internet. If you need recommendations, email me at sacredspiritualhealer at gmail dot com. I'll send you um, a couple people that I know um, that do a great job. Old hag, which reminds us, take off the mask, be strong inwardly to see through a facade and forgive others of their hurtful actions. True soul will be exposed and also um, forgive yourself as well for those things. All right, let me get these. Okay, the universe will provide you with what you need, so don't. Don't abuse it when you're doing your manifestations. Not that you, I mean, you can manifest anything you want, but don't abuse it. Don't concern yourself with others' opinions. Realize their opinion does not hurt you, it's just words. Plant a tree. Give thanks to its spirit or adopt a tree in, in the park. Talk to it. List your childhood hurts by age. Ask spirit guide to help you recall areas that need to heal. Example, say you start with zero to five years old or one to five years old. Recognize what needs to be healed. Heal it. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. And move on to six to ten years old, etc. Problems are necessary stages to purification on your journey. You will emerge from the maze a new you. Uh, purification. These uh, problems or triggers, as we call them on your journey, are lessons. They are not happening to you. They are happening for you. Yellow tourmaline is awesome. It gives. It helps with solar plexus. It heals your liver, spleen, and kidneys, gallbladder issues as well. But um, solar plexus is your courage, your strength to to handle situations. Get into mission and just do it. Amethyst wand opens your sixth chakra, your third eye, also removes blockages from your sacrum. So amethyst is a good one to get. Practice love and light to others. Of course. Let's see anything else, and then I'm going to go on to the greedy portion of it. Live your best life now. Don't wait. That soul, new soulmate is a test. It's a karmic lesson. A karmic lesson will ensure. So if you're trying to leave your journey or uh, with your counterpart um, to go back to a karmic or a soulmate, then it's going to be a karmic lesson for you. This divine uh, there's a mission and a soul purpose you're supposed to be in with your divine counterpart. Remind yourself that you are beautiful and you are loved. Love yourself. Let it go. Forgive. It no longer serves you or your greater good. Be in union with yourself first. And listen to your intuition. Get out of analysis paralysis. When you're always overthinking things, it puts you in a paralysis 
of not moving, it also blocks your abundance from coming in because you're froze. You're in that Nine of Swords energy then. Be creative. Draw, paint, plant. Perhaps make a fairy garden. Sometimes you have to move things out to get what you want. Fast. Um, whether it's sacrifice or fast, um, either don't eat anything until noon, say, for seven days. And for the purpose of manifestation, um, consider it your sacrifice. Or TV, etc. Cut or remove cords to traumas. Give it out to the ethers and ask Archangel Michael to heal those wounds. Also fill the spare, that space with love. DM is protecting you from the karmic or harsh words. Maybe they're having a bad day. If they're ignoring you or they're blocking you, perhaps it's so that they don't hurt your feelings. Dance, sing to raise your vibration. And remember, positive transformation is occurring currently. Body, mind, soul, nurture all three. All right, so let me put these over here. All right, what do we got? Okay, first up is your overall energy from the animal spirit is um, the dragon. Uh, this one is about, this is release, what you need to release. So the, the dragon sometimes is about releasing your ego, letting the ego go. Yes, you may be a great dragon within you, but you need to release the ego so that um, spirit can move your transformation along. Um, so that you can have that death of ego and fill it with a new a rebirth of your soul. Okay, this is kind of like the analysis paralysis. You need to release the things in your life that you're thinking are bigger than they are. Release the fear around these issues. These lies that you've told have become in your mind bigger and bigger um, and more and more dangerous. But only in your mind space are they doing this. They're still just that little plastic. It's like this is uh, one of those little plastic transformers. And you're imagining it as a, this huge goliath of a giant, right? If the little transformer was your lie, you're now thinking that it's huge and going to be the end of your world. In reality, it's it's still just words that need to be corrected, per se. So, Seven of Wands here. It's You need to release the, the lies. If you're in your truth, then this will disappear. Because it will no longer, sure, it might be hurting like a knife. It might be cutting. It may have even done some damage. However... It's better to correct it by being in truth and release the fear of what it's going to do. It will no longer control you that way. Release greed. This is about the four of coins here is he's hugging on to his drum, his possessions, his material possessions. Um, with his all of his being, he's giving all his energy to material possessions. Okay, my throat chakra seems to be closing up. And even his building around him, his home, his uh, foundation is crumbling down because of his greed on holding on to things. He's not able to look up and see the beautiful buildings around him or the other things he could be enjoying because he's so focused on his material possessions. 
when you're focused on your material possessions and greed, you cannot uh, fully inhibit the, the appreciation for the love that's around you, love of from others or for yourself even. So release greed. This is the um, initiation card, otherwise known as the hangman, but in this sense, it's the initiation, what you will or won't pass through. Spirit wants you to release fear. Release the fear of this initiation that you're going to be going through to go to the next level, the next gate, that transformation. Right? The He wants you to transform. But you need to release the fear and let go of things in order to get through that last final step. You know, things are always darkest before the sun comes up, right? Before the next bright thing comes into your life. So you need to release the fear of around this issue, around what's going to transform you into a new person. A new beginning awaits you. A celebration with friends um, of like mind. King of Coins. Release the illusions in your mind. Control. Thank you, Spirit. This was um, release control of the situation. He's the King of Coins, the drums, the um, material things. Again, it's releasing. Um, he's trying to hold on and control the environment so that he can have all his worldly possessions. And Spirit wants him to release control, to release the need for control. Here again with the King of Cups, release control. Over. Control about trying to control an emotional situation at this point as well. Um, believe, be in your, uh, be in your authentic self. You know, you're, open your chakras, meditate, and don't hold on to your past. Don't hold on to the way you think things should be. Be open to the flow of how spirit wants it to come into your life. The endings and beginnings is about ego, the death of ego, transformation. The ending and the beginning, in order to, uh, to in order to transform, you have to end or have allow the death of your ego and your control. Thirty-two breaks to a five. This is about change, change within your spirit, your soul, and how people. You're worried about how people see you, your image. You want to be this shiny bright thing but to be this you need to go within we change change comes from within to shine brightly change your friends this is a number eight eleventh house the spirit wants you to uh, look around and release things that no longer serve you that are not of the same high vibration those that are of low vibration, those that are not for your highest good, you need to release those friends and fill it with the ones that are of like mind. When you go through this releasing of the ego, releasing of um, allow this change to come in, this death of ego and the transformation take place, you will be with like-minded friends. Um, these friends, you don't have to wish them ill. You can just no longer partake in a friends, family, etc. They're of low vibration. If they're not supporting you of your transformation, of your growth, of the shining your brightest, enjoying and living your life now, for your, your best life now. Thank you. Spring. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up 
for yourself. Stand up for your transformation. Be assertive. Don't back down from those friends that are trying to make fun or gossip about. If they're gossiping, first of all, that's such a low vibration and it's a reflection of their character, not yours, okay? So if they have negative things to say about you, just walk away and ignore it. There's no point in having a conversation with them because they're of the lowest vibration on the earth. They might as well just be a snake in the grass. So be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for you, for what you believe, so that you can live your best life. The Hermit card. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your, and make a commitment to your spiritual growth. This goes back to take a break from your, those friends that are of such low vibration. Um, you can't, maybe you can't take a break from your matrix job, but you don't have to associate with those of low vibration. Just do your job and keep them at arm's length. They don't need to know what your business is or that you're in the middle of a transformation for your highest good. Okay. Here we have Angel of Soul. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issues of self-love. Release the issues of self-love and fill yourself with love. Know that you are worthy, that you are... Uh, you know, recreate, uh, reincarnated in in the highest of light, and for, you're here for a mission, a soul purpose. You're the chosen one, so you need to. You should be holding yourself in this avatar, this earthly being that you're in, because truly, your soul is what is goes from lifetime to lifetime. Your soul is love. So don't judge the avatar when you can control what this avatar looks like or acts like. But all that matters is the soul within. Your light that shines is from within. So issues of self-love need to be um, released so that you can love yourself from the inside out. Okay, some of the other things that need to be released. Uh, Spirit shows the cards. Uh, heartache and loss. If you have past loves, perhaps you recently, uh, you know, breakups of, especially in this time frame, this year of 2019, before we hit the next milestone of 2020, a lot of relationships have come to a close and opening the new just ones, the one that Spirit wanted with that party or that person, right? The reunions. Um, so many have heartache over the loss of those other loved ones. Um, loss of friends that you've had to let go, sure, but know that it's for your highest good. So you need to move forward with confidence and love yourself enough to choose better friends. <laughs> you know? What's that saying? You can't fly like an eagle if you flock with turkeys. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it's put, but it's something like that. <laughs> Heartache and loss. So release this heartache. Heal it. Ask Archangel Michael to come in and heal the wounds in your heart. And recall back the uh, particles of your soul that have been uh, fragmented to help heal. Trapped in fear. This goes back to the uh, here with this one. Right? Trapped in fear. You're imagining these things to be bigger than they are. Um, in reality, they, you know, they, things were, may have been said. It goes back to one that was like gossip or something. Yeah, society. Um, but don't be trapped by the fear of this illusion. They are either just words or in your imagination. Don't be trapped overthinking, overthinking about the same thing over fear. Don't be afraid. You have to reach in your solar plexus and have courage and strength. And know that your spirit guides there with you. Take the leap of faith. And two, what might be holding you back with the fear and with the heartache is your shadow self. You're still, you know, without darkness we have no light. We can't be afraid of our shadow side, our darker side that maybe likes to have too much fun sometimes or in delve into, you know, certain things. However, Know that your dark side and light side mirror one another as well. 
It's not supposed to be a power struggle with your shadow self. It's a trap because that's when you get trapped in fear. Recognize that it's there and heal the shadow self. Bring it to light. Shine light upon your shadow self. Go ask the seer spirit to show you what you don't want to see about yourself that needs healing. Look at yourself in the mirror and heal the man in the mirror. Because that's the person who is outwardly projecting. Have two uh, chakra that, for this that needs to be uh, blockages need to be healed or released. Okay, so release the blockage in your base chakra. So um, do some balancing, some alignments. Again, Jupiter 1111 does great um, chakra activations. Visit her page and. She even has some, I think, uh, free videos on her page to help with it as well. All right, but your base chakra is below. Below your belly button is the sacral chakra, and below that, kind of like the tailbone of your, if you're not aware, like your tailbone area is your base chakra. This grounds you to Mother Earth. And it keeps you grounded. Then we have the sacral chakra below your belly button. This is your reproductive organs, your sensual um, energy. Um, and this is out of alignment. And the spirit wants you to release the blockages that are holding you back in your strength with this, regards to this. Perhaps it's a lack of self-confidence um, in your abilities in that area of life. Release Re release the blockages that allow you the positive movement forward. So if your ship is still tied at the dock, you need to untie it so you can set sail. So remo remove the blockages and change your focus. Change your focus from the I can't do it or I'm not good enough or I'm not worthy. Change that focus to I am worthy. I am an amazing being that's transforming, that's removing the ego that holds me back so that you can have strength. Change your focus from the lower vibe people in your life to the higher vibe people that will help you to grow in your journey. Release await the waiting results card. To me, this is the... If you're always worried or about the outcome, like you plant a tree and you know it's going to grow, but you know it's going to take time to grow, so you can't sit there and just wait for the result of the tree to bear fruit because it's still just a seedling. You planted it, right? You just planted this little seedling and it's not going to bear fruit, not until it grows. So don't sit there and wait and wonder when's it coming, when's it coming. Um, just know and have faith that Everything's going to happen in divine timing when the tree is, when your transformation is there to take place, when you release the ego, when you release the negative vibe people and change your focus, you heal the blockages, then the transformation will take place and you will bear more fruit. You will have the inner light, the inner peace. Offerings, again, this is the offerings of kind of with the card that we had um, about fasting you could fast food you know as far as like don't eat until noon say for seven days while you're trying to manifest things this is a way of offering something of sacrifice of, to show that you're dedicated to what you're trying to pull into your energy um, you can sacrifice you know Offerings. You can give things up. Cigarettes. Food. Offerings are... Thank you. So, offering of also of your time. Say, volunteering at an animal shelter. Volunteering at a food bank. Or the homeless shelter. Packing uh, duffel little bags of things that a homeless person might need. Keep it in your car and then when you see someone that's homeless on a corner, you can just give them that little bag with things. Um, but by giving something of yourself that you consider of value, 
it's showing your dedication towards your service and what you're calling into your being. So Mother Kali is the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. Very fitting. It's time to be the truth of who I am. And again, so this is all about the truth and releasing what they, doesn't serve them in lies. And this goes back to those faces on here match the faces on this one. I think, you know, how he has faces down here. So this one has releasing the lies and being the truth of who they am because in their illusion, maybe they're afraid of this. Well, actually, this looks like he cut somebody's head off, but we don't go to that extent. <laughs> Um, perhaps cut his his uh, fake self out, his ego, like the death of the ego. Um, he's cut that out of himself. Okay, and here we have the two cards, the uh, judgment and the emperor, both of which are of uh, importance. So this is um, choosing what the divine has given to you, turning your back, to the things that no longer serve you, the people, persons, things that are not for your highest good, the karmic lessons, the uh, people in your life that are really just there as a karmic lesson for you to grow. Time is now to, judgment is here to show you that these things are no longer um, not needed, no longer serving your highest good for your energy. So you need to choose what the Spirit has right before you. The judgment card is here, and the time is now to release the things that don't serve you, the ones that, um, and turning your back on that, that doesn't serve you so you can choose correctly. The emperor here um, denotes that you need to uh, release control. The emperor's uh, boss is someone that does take control of situations, um, but... Sometimes not always in his um, authentic self. Sometimes he has to pretend to be stronger than he is, um, such as his ego. So you need to shed the ego and be in your authentic self, but let go of control, of controlling situations, and just let be. Okay. Please. Hold on the book because we got pretty deep. <laughs> so the upper world card is 59, 14 breaks for five. So this is about change and releasing. The upper world is calling you to step into your fully realized self, clear and release distractions so that you can move forward into your higher destiny. Do not fall to the temptation of to the craft a slightly more improved version of yourself, but what you perceive as a problem or an obstacle is in fact the irritation that you need to take the leap of faith. Then 52 says, go and play, recharge, take the focus off whatever has stalled you. Change your focus. Remember that was here. Change your focus. Stand still. Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. Time to get out of the analysis paralysis. Stand still invites you to turn within. Breathe and recognize this is the condition of the moment. It allows you the opportunity to bear witness to whatever is going on before movement resumes. So kind of takes time to reflect on how who you are and how you are. That man in the mirror, woman in the mirror, whatever. Um, 
so that while you're transforming, you can recognize the change that is occurring, that spirit is bringing forth in your transformation. A smoking mirror can also represent a state of denial or an inability, refusal to see the truth. So release the truth. Understand the shadow of the human journey requires that you go deep into your story to discover the wound that prevents you from seeing the truth of the current situation. Your fears and expectations of disappointment and unworthiness may be clouding you, blocking you, your capacity to see the potential in you, yourself, and others. Release the fear of truth. The rainbow is about five change. They have two change cards. Releasing is about change. The rainbow symbolizes seven steps of the true spiritual path, which manifest as colors of the seven chakras in the Himalayans. The rainbow body is seen as the full realization of our essence. The rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere and remember that it is darkest before dawn. Do not give up hope. Things are about to take a positive turn. Don't get caught in pursuit of illusions of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Find the treasure now. The treasure is love in the relationships around you. So don't be illusioned by the greed of money because at the end of the rainbow, that pot of gold is really the love, uh, unconditional love you have for self and others. Mystic Shaman is 38. It's an 11 card, which is divine number. When the mystical shaman appears, you're invited to consider the ability to live without attachment. You are called to create and dream your best life, to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on a known story of success or achievement. Release your past and be the new you. Transform and allow. Don't be in control. Don't try. You have to let go of control so that you can allow the flow of this transformation. Thank you, Spirit. The medicine wheel to manifest clear blue skies. In your life, it is important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being, the you. Enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are still clinging to events from the past. Or people, continue to the west and notice what relationships are toxic and draining your energy. Step to the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and sh do I show my passion? And end your, your journey at the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. Live your best life. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days, months. But when you are done, make sure to step outside the wheel and contemplate your journey. Then release these things and move forward. Again, release. Okay, this one was Release Self-Judgment. The Luminous Warrior. A Luminous Warrior reminds you it is important to focus on your power, well not, on your power within, your wisdom within, and the inner beauty. Do not be seduced by what seems wrong or what the world is judging. Remember the intentions follows attention. All right, find the truth hiding in your heart that will affirm your instinct for peace rather than for war. A lot of this is about releasing truth of who you are, of truth of the lies you've told, perhaps. Flow, a number two card. Don't try to push against the river or swim upstream right now. Allow it to flow. This is not the time to bang on doors that refuse to open. Whatever obstacle is in front of you right now, trust that this is for the highest good. 
You must trust that your intentions will take form in good time. Consider this time between or of rest is a gift. A gift to heal. The eagle. Um, she calls you to ascend, to acquire perspective so you can fly wing to wing with the Great Spirit. Eagle invites you to take a deep breath, spread your wings. When was the last time you opened them up? Eagle reminds you that your spirit was born to soar to the heavens. As you contemplate choices, ask yourself, I do not want to live in a, oh, do you want to live in a chicken coop, sheltered from life, counting the regular feedings, or do I want to soar like an eagle? If your answer is the latter, then you must accept Eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that help, will help you choose freedom. Release and heal. When everyone else perceives only darkness, you need to point out the light. Help uncover the hidden treasures in the event or person. Stop trying to fix relationships that you believe are broken. Recognize that things are exactly as they need to be at this moment. Acknowledge the inherent beauty in the rest, the, the break. Do not engage in gossip about the darkness and flaws of others. Be careful not to be seduced by superficial beauty. Relate these relationships that are karmic you are toying with unless you are willing to pay the price for it later. Number one with the ancient ones. Ancestors are near you at this time, Spirit says. The ancient ones are inviting you to reach to the future to help birth a new destiny for the earth. Go ahead, find out who you were becoming 10,000 years from now. If you accept this invitation, great power and blessings will come your way and allow you to craft a new destiny for yourself. Do not hesitate to bite off more than you can chew because you are... are Unlimited spiritual, you have unlimited spiritual resources available right now. The ancient ones beseech you to examine your attitude and actions and be such that they are of the highest integrity. Not forgiving an ancestor or yourself is keeping you from the freedom that you seek. Again, honor your biological ancestors by lighting a candle to them. So I only read from the book as to what sections were pertinent for the releasing because it was um, seemed like an important message rather than just channeling um, for the collective. And that was a lot to remember. But overall, for release, Spirit is really saying release your ego, your need to control situations so that you can transform this is a, um, several people at this time are um, on that verge at the front of the gate ready to just unlock it and push it open to their transformation to a death of the ego and a death of the, uh, a rebirth, sorry, of the soul with the um, initiation. Um, you're right at that gate waiting for the initiation to finish so that you can go forward. But without releasing your ego, and the need to control the situation, you're holding yourself back, you're, you've got a block. Your block was in these things that we spoke of, the, uh, the fear, the heartache loss, and two of your chakras that you need to heal. So I hope you have a blessed day. Namaste.